Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Recently, I did a post called How to Extract a Dynamic List from a Data Range Based on a Criteria Without Filters. And I got a request asking, how do I modify the formula if I want to add more items to the list, especially if I add them to the top? So I came up with two options to solve that. So let's see how we can make those adjustments in Excel. So here is the information on the previous post that we had. I have this list here of guests, whether they're attending our event or not, and whether they made a donation. And in columns E and F, I wanted to extract from that original list all the individuals that are attending. So if there is a Y in column B, I want that list to appear here. And in columns H and I, if they made a donation, give me that list and the amount that they donated that might be greater than whatever I have here in L1. Same thing with columns E and F. If there's a Y in K1, I want that up here here. For example, if I change this to an N for the nose, Notice that the list will give me all the people that have an N in column B that they're attending. Or if I change this in L1 to $25, this is going to give me a list of everyone who made a donation that's greater than or equal to $25. I'm not going to go through the whole formula that we have created to do this, but I will put a link into that previous post in the notes below so you can review that tutorial or that video so you can see how that was done. But the question is, what happens if I add individuals to the list? If we look at the formula, it's basically an index formula that has a range for the guests from A2 to A26. So if I add somebody to the bottom, that's not going to automatically adjust. If I add someone to in the middle, it'll work. But again, if I add somebody at the top, it won't do any good. I'll show you that right now. So let's say at the bottom, if I add Mike Rempel here, he is coming and he made a $100 donation. Notice nothing changes here. I'm going to get rid of that. If I add uh, something in the middle, let's say I highlight these three cells and I insert rows, I shift the cells down, and here I put... Mike Rempel that is going and made a hundred dollar donation. Um, notice if I change this to a Y that my name did appear here and my donation did appear there because it fell within that range that we had before listed for the index formula. So again I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Changes back to a Y here. Finally, if I try to add something at the top here, I'll do a control plus, shift cells down. Uh, I do need to make a change here to format same as below. And now again, if I add my name that I am attending with a $100 donation, again, nothing changes in the list because the formula since I moved the cells down, went from A2 to A26 to A3 to A27. So again, it didn't address that. So what do we need to do to make that range for the index formula dynamic? Well, we have two different options here. I'm going to go ahead and just remove that extra information there and get it back to normal. And let's go to the second tab with the offset formula. So what we've done here is we've taken on the original formula, if you see here on the guest list name, the index formula, the range for the index formula or the array is just A2 to A26 with that being locked. In the offset formula option here, if I select, whoops, excuse me, if I, I'm going to go ahead and pull this down so you see the whole formula. I'm going to click inside the index formula and click array. And notice that A2 to A26 is now replaced by this offset formula. So let's see how the offset formula is going to work here. If I type equals offset, it returns a reference to a range as a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. And the syntax is I need a reference point. 
how many rows down do I want to go, how many columns over, and then what's the overall height and what's the overall width of the range that I want that to include. So if we look at our formula here, our offset formula basically says start at cell A1, which is the very top left corner of my array here. Go down one cell, which is the one here. So I go down to the very first name, Jeremy Wright. Go over zero columns because I want to stay within that name. And then how high do I want to make that range? Well, I'm going to do a counter of the, all the names in column A. I'm going to subtract one because I'm going to eliminate the header of guest. And how many columns wide? It's one. So basically, if I look at that offset account and I hit F9, you'll see it'll give me the full list of all the names that go from Jeremy Wright all the way down to Samuel Scott. And that's the list I have here. So if I add a name at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom, that formula should automatically adjust for that. So let's take a look here. Let's say I want to insert some cells here. I'm going to shift the cells down. Again, I have to format it same as below. And if I add Mike Rempel, I can't even spell my name right here, with a Y and a $100 donation, notice it automatically accounted for that because the offset function had counted all the cells high or all the rows that I wanted to use with the counter function that we have there. Same thing if I wanted to add someone to the middle here. I'll hit Control Plus, shift cells down. I'll add Joe Jones. And again, Joe is going and he made a $75 donation. Again, that information worked properly. And it would do the same if I added one to the bottom. So again, very simple, convenient way to do it just by changing that fixed range to an offset function that will automatically accommodate for any changes that we make to our original list. The last option might be the simplest altogether, and that is just to convert our list to a table. Now, if you notice, my table has the name donors on it. So my formula, all I've done here is say that my index is the array is donors guest. So anytime I expand that list, it's automatically going to be accommodated in my formula. So again, if I add anything to the top here, and again, I'm going to attend, and I'm going to make a $100 donation. Again, it automatically accommodated that. To the bottom, all I would do is click in that last cell, Hit tab, and again, I can add Joe Jones, the fact that he's going, and he made a $75 donation. And again, you can see it automatically populated those names, both the ones at the top at the bottom. And if I put one in the middle, it would also include that in the list. And again, all I did was make the modifications to change the formula to reference the table rather than having a fixed range like I would have in the initial or in the original formula that I created. And that's how you can accomplish this in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.